Hello Crafty family and welcome to another tutorial by She's So Crafty. For today's DIY projects, we'll be creating some really easy home decor pieces using Dollar Tree items. Now these all have a light and fresh summer feel to them. Now to get you all started, I've included the full supply list in the description box below. And to all of my amazing subscribers and visitors, I wanted to say, hey, hey, and if you haven't subscribed yet, you definitely should. So you could be the first to see hundreds of fresh and original craft ideas on my channel. So let's jump in and get started. Now this project is a set of wood and metal decor pieces. We're gonna need two of these wood plank style framed pieces from the Dollar Tree. We're also gonna need two of these metal envelopes from the Dollar Tree. And we're gonna need an assortment of berry and greenery picks for this project. Okay, we're starting off with the wood plank pieces and I'm gonna flip them over and remove the jute twine hang string from the back of these because we will be placing these in a different location. So once that's all removed, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take those planks, we're gonna flip them up with the top side up. Now, no worries about the little mark on the back. I had these in a bag and something spilled on the back of them, but the front is perfectly fine. Okay, so what we're gonna do is take that jute twine we had cut away, and we're gonna tie a knot on each end, the width of one of those plank boards. Now, once we get the width, I'm gonna take my staple gun and I'm gonna put two staples on each side right before that knot, so it kind of locks that string in on each side. We're gonna do this on both sides near the top and we're gonna place that string about an inch from the top of the board. Now, once it's in a good place, we can go ahead and trim off the tails of that jute twine. And now we have a nice trimmed string to hang our projects up on, on both of our signs. So now that the hanger is done, what I'm gonna do is I am going to stain the outside edge. I'm gonna be using some Waverly Antique Wax. Now, of course, you can use diluted acrylic paint or use stain itself, but I'm just gonna use my uh, antique wax. So I have a little cup here with just a little bit of water and I'm adding some of the antique wax in. The ratio is about two parts water to one part wax. And I like to do this to extend the product and also it makes it easier to paint it on and it'll be a little lighter than that dark, dark color. So I'm taking a medium sized paintbrush and I'm gonna paint it around the edge of the frame. Just careful not to get it on the white planks. Now, once I complete one, here is the complete trim out. Just go over this with a paper towel to remove the excess and then do the second board. And here are both of our boards. They're all nice and covered with that beautiful antique wax stain around the edges and on the very top and bottom. So sit those to the side to dry, grab those metal little envelopes. Now, if you have the little buckets or envelopes, either one will work for this project. Now I wanted to add rust to these, so I'm using a barn red and black acrylic paints to make the perfect rust color. Now I'm taking some of that barn red and then taking just a small dot of the black and placing it on the side. And I'm gonna start blending them together until I get that perfect deep red rust color that I'm looking for. And then I'm gonna kind of dry down that paint on there. You don't want a whole lot of paint on your brush. I have a small tipped brush and I'm just dabbing that rust color all along the natural edges and folds of the envelope. And this just gives it that really aged rustic look. Here is what one looks like. I think this is exactly what I'm looking for. I'm gonna repeat this until both of my envelopes have the rust color. Now to give my little rust color a little more depth and dimension, I'm taking some of that solid black black and I'm only taking just a small bit and I'm dabbing it here and there along the rusted edges. It's very random. It's not all the way over. It's just a little bit here and a little bit there. And I think when you do that, it makes it look like a more natural rusted finish. And when both of them are done, here is what they look like. And now you just want them to let uh, to sit and completely dry. So now that they are dry, we're going to add those strings back in. So these are the strings we originally took out of them. But this time when I add the strings back in, I only want my loop at the top to only be about one inch. So I'm just tying the ends together to where I have about an inch loop at the top as shown here. Go ahead and do this for both of them and they'll be perfect to hang on our piece when we get everything mounted. 
So now go ahead and grab those boards. They should be dry now and place your little metal envelopes on there. Now I decided to place my envelopes about one to one and a half inches from the bottom of my boards to where that's where I wanted to mount mine. Now to mount them to the boards, I just have some of these peel and stick hooks that you get from the Dollar Tree. I have a pack of white and a pack of clear. You can use either one. I decided to just go with the clear ones for this project today. So once I have my clear hooks, I'm just going to place them in a place where I believe these will be hanging perfectly for my project. Now once I make all the adjustments, I'm just going to remove that little peel and stick back. It has this clear adhesive on the back and I want to press it firmly to the board. You just want to make sure your boards are nice and clean when you press these on there. You don't want any debris or anything. I'm going to hang one of my envelopes on it to see if it's uh, the perfect place where I would like it. And since it was, now we can place the other one right next to it and make sure it's hanging in the exact place and give those hooks a firm press to make sure they are nice and solid on the board and here they are all mounted and ready to go so now we can add the greenery of our choice and I chose to go with these berry picks they remind me of like strawberries I love those I got them from the Dollar Tree and I also have a eucalyptus pick that I also got from the Dollar Tree now what I'm going to be doing is bundling each one of these together to make kind of a really full bunch to stuff into my little envelope packet so you can see that these are going to be too long with the stems but I like to actually fold my stems instead of cut a lot of them off because I repurpose a lot of my greenery and my projects so I didn't want a, to make a permanent commitment to the cut as they would say so I'm gonna bundle my berry pick along with my eucalyptus and then I'm gonna fold the bottom of that eucalyptus stem over I wanted to maintain the full length of that one in case I wanted to reuse it in a project now when those bended pieces they can be kind of bulky so the best way to keep those in place is simply use some of the Dollar Tree kind of zippy ties. I love using these. These are very useful when it comes to keeping things all together. So I'm just going to stick that on there, do some adjustments. Of course, if the piece comes out, you could just slide it right back in. And then I'm going to clip off the tail of that. And once it's bonded together like this, we can go ahead and just make our little bunch a lot fuller. And then we could test to see how it looks in our little pocket and we could stick it down in there. I'm loving how this looks really full, really glamorous for summer. I love the berries and the greenery. It's just so fresh to me to see that in this time of year. So now we're just going to do that for the second one. And now both of our berry bush combinations are in our little envelopes. I really love this, but I wanted to add one more accent. Now what I decided to do is make a little ribbon and I'm just going to use my little finger bow that I love to use. I'm just going to stick, take some grow grain ribbon. I'm going to stick it between my fingers as shown here. And then I'm going to wrap it around my thumb and my index finger for as many loops as I want. So I wanted two loops on each side. So I'm wrapping around thumb and index finger, thumb and index finger until I have two loops on each side. Cut yourself a nice generous long tail and take that tail, wrap it over the whole bundle. Then take that tail again and wrap it back to the loop you just made and pull tight. Now once you pull this tight, it forms a knot in the middle, you guys. So once that knot is secured in place, you could slide it off your fingers and you have the perfect little two loop bow. It is just effortless. I love doing this technique to make quick little little bows so fun so all that's left to do now is just to trim down the tails of the bow to your desired desired length and once you get your desired length I like to finish off the ends of my bows just by dovetailing them just to give them a nice finished accent and there you have it you have a really cute bow that you could use for your project now I wanted to place this, you know, near the bottom of my bundle, or you could put it at the top of your piece, however you want to. But now that you have your two bows, you can attach them to the bottom. Now, if you don't want to commit, you could use a paper clip to paper clip these on. Or for me, I'm just going to take the smallest little dab of hot glue on the back of one of these and stick it right in the center. This will make it easy to remove just in case I decide to reuse this. But you guys, now you can hang them up and then 
enjoy these beauties. I just think that they turned out so sweet. Now I do love all the combinations of the wood board, the metal and the green greenery for these and they are just perfect for a fresh summer look. Now I did choose the berries but this will be great with any kind of fruit of choice and I love the metal accent. It is so adorable. Now you all have to let me know if you're going to give this project a try in the comments below. Now this project is a set of white ceramic vase decor pieces. We're going to need two of these ceramic vases that I got on clearance for Family Dollar and these were marked down to $1.50 so definitely check that out. And I'm also going to need some assorted berry greenery picks of my choice. Okay, we're gonna start off with those white vases. We're gonna remove those price tags from there and any labels that are on the bottom of these to get ready to use them. Now, to remove the design, I'm just gonna use 100% acetone. This is the one that I got from the Dollar Tree and I'm just gonna apply this to a paper towel or you can use a textured cloth. You're just gonna apply a generous amount to that and this design will come right off with the acetone. As you can see, it just totally dissolves. So that makes that these spring vases that were on clearance totally repurposed where you could use them year round and now you have a clean surface to work with. So we're going to repeat this for the other one and now both of our vases are ready to go. Now I'm just going to tie a simple bow around the neck of these vases just sticking with that same buffalo check ribbon. People say buffalo check is going out of style. What do you guys think? I think it just I love the the accent and the color of this for a lot of farmhouse decor. What do you guys think? Is buffalo check in or out? <laughs> Let me know in the comments. So now that I have a little bow at the top, I'm just going to trim it down and going to go ahead and dovetail those ends. Now, if you are working with grow grain ribbon, it's good to burn the edges to keep them from fraying. That's a good idea, especially if they're going to be handled a lot. So now that one is done, we're going to repeat it until we have the two vases that are ready to go. And now we're going to grab our greenery. So again, I am choosing these berry picks. I really love these from the Dollar Tree. And these were another different type of greenery that I thought was really pretty and would accent this project really well. So I'm removing all the tags and I am going to bundle one berry pick with a greenery pick. Now I did trim these down because I was only taking about an inch and a half off, which is fine. I was able to do that and I just buried a bundled both of those berry picks and I'm going to stick one of each into each one of these vases and you can stick them all the way down you guys when you add these berry picks to these beautiful vases I love the summery accent that is it you guys it's so cute now how incredibly easy was that I mean you have two beautiful vase pieces made from clearance vases now, I think that these would make the perfect accent pieces for the wall decor we made before, and they are so super sweet. And just adding the bow really changes up the look, and your choice of greenery is the icing on the cake. Now, this project was so fun and easy to make. Now this project is a set of metal laced trimmed riser trays. So we're gonna need two of these wood plaques from the Dollar Tree and they have them in different shapes. I'm also gonna use some metal ribbon of your choice from the Dollar Tree. They come in various different styles and designs and if you can't find them at Dollar Tree, they do sell these uh, at Hobby Lobby too. Okay, so we're gonna start off with those wood planks, remove any tags from the bottom of these and get them ready to go. So to trim these out, I'm gonna be using that metal ribbon. You guys, I love working with the metal ribbon. It gives everything that I added to such a high-end look and I really appreciate that. So I'm gonna unravel it and I'm going to try to straighten it as much as possible as I roll it off the roll. Now I believe there's like three feet of this on the roll, which is a generous amount for this project. So once you have the piece rolled out, um, for the first project, I'm just going to add the trim around where the routed edge is facing up and the flat edge is facing down. So I'm wrapping that ribbon around to determine how long of a piece that I need with a one inch overlap. And once we have that length, I'm going to go ahead and trim it off with a pair of scissors. It's really easy. 
So now that we have that all measured out, we can start to add it. So I'm just using my high temperature hot glue to add this on. You can use any kind of um, adhesive like E6000 or Gorilla Glue, whatever you want, but I'm using a high temperature hot glue for this and it worked perfectly. So I'm gonna add some to the edge of my wood tray and then start to add my metal trim. Now this is when that a uh, silicone spatula would come in handy to press the ribbon into the glue. For some reason, I could not locate mine for this, so I'm working as best as I can. I tell you what, I've burned my fingers so much with hot glue, I'm almost immune to it, so I'm just pressing that in around the edge all the way around the tray. Now, once you get around to the back where it overlaps at about an inch, then you want to secure it in place with more glue. And here is the tray. Once it's wrapped around, look how great that looks. Just having that trimmed around like that, it is so super cute. So we're gonna set that to the side and we're gonna work on our second tray. Now for this one, I'm using this ribbon here. It reminds me of having like a fringe. So instead of it having facing upward, I'm having it facing downward from the tray and having the beveled edge facing up. I thought that would be a unique take on it. So that's what I'm gonna do for this project. Now, once I wrapped it around facing down, you could see that it looks like a pedestal with fringe around it. I love how this turned out. So I have now, two unique trays with the metal trim on them. So for our trays, we're gonna add feet. Now what I chose to use are some of these wood snowmen that I picked up during Christmas at the Dollar Tree. If you can't find the wood snowman, you can get little feet from Hobby Lobby or you can even use large wood beads that are also show, uh, sold at the Dollar Tree. So there's a lot of option for feet just in case you can't have uh, find the snowman or don't have them in your stash. So I'm gonna grab the little snowman and I'm going to be applying them on the bottom of the tray. Now when you do apply these to the tray you want the bottom of the snowman to touch the bottom of the tray so it's almost mounting them kind of upside down but that is the way that they'll look like the cutest little feet so you can add some of your high temperature hot glue wood glue or hot wood glue to the bottom of the snowman and stick one of those into each corner of your tray you just want to make sure you press down firmly and kind of wiggle it in place because you want to kind of squeeze as much of that hot glue out of place as possible now, once all of your little feet are in place, here they are, really cute. And when you flip the tray over, it looks like a really high-end, beautiful piece. So now we're gonna take the other tray and we are going to do the same thing. We're gonna add the four little snowman feet to that one as well. These packs of snowmen come with eight, so it's perfect for a set or just two trays. So once we add those on and check them out, they're just chilling in their corners there and look, they look so adorable on here. So now that both of our trays are all put together, it's time to add color and I'm just gonna paint them white. So what I decided to use is go with a um, satin white by Krylon. Now it took me three coats with 10 minutes um, in between each coat to paint these. And here they are all completely dry, you guys. I love how these turned out. I am so impressed how that metal trim blended in with that wood. These look so stylish and elegant. Now, once you make these, you can use these for any kind of decor. I'm just gathering up another berry pick, some little trinkets to sit on top. It's all up to you. And there you have it. It's super cute. It's the cutest little riser and you could decorate it for your space. Now I simply added a berry bundle and an LED candle to accent the top of this. I really love how the metal trim turned out and the little snowman feet worked out perfectly. Now these are so easy to add what you love, it, love to it and they are so easy and look amazing. And now here is the other tray and wow, this one has to be my favorite. I am so glad that I decided to trim the bottom as a fringe and it really makes this piece look expensive. And then you couple it with those cute little feet and you have an elegant and glamorous decor piece. Now I hope you enjoy creating these as much as I did. 
Now listen, all of these budget-friendly DIYs today were so fun, but let me know in the comments which one was your favorite today. Leave a thumbs up if you enjoy crafting as much as I do, and share this video with your friends that love to craft too. Now don't forget to check me out on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, and Pinterest for projects and more giveaways. And don't forget to subscribe to see more. It's absolutely free. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you all next time.